department store in Barbersville, which is literally sliding off this hill toward houses below. The store's building plans were in the hands of city officials, but now they're not. Our Lane Ball has been tracking the story since the beginning, and he's uncovered some core documents that show this has been an issue for decades now. It's no secret that this target and the road behind it have had some issues recently, with the corner of the store collapsing and part of the hill slipping closer to the neighborhood below it. But what you might not know is just how deep the problem goes. I did some digging and found court documents that detail problems dating back two decades. According to those records, J.A. Street & Associates was hired by Thundering Herd Development to begin construction on Merritt Creek Farm back in July of 2001. September of that same year is when the ground started to slip, creating some foundation issues. But repairs were made and the construction continued. In 2002, the walls of the Target building started to crack due to land movement, forcing crews to again take corrective actions. But this time, it resulted in more than $700,000 in damages. In October of 2002, the target was officially open. Several years went by and there didn't seem to be any issues. That is until 2012, the land developer reported damages caused by so-called defective engineered fill that was placed between 2001 and 2003. And all these problems stem from settling and land movement, which we found out from West Virginia American Water, is also what's causing the most recent hill slip. After learning about this embattled history, shoppers are saying, in hindsight, they feel if more had been done to fix the issues, they wouldn't be dealing with this now. Sounds like they should have been trying to fix it or something. I mean, my goodness, that is terrible. I think something should have been done to reinforce that part of the property um, to ensure that Target stays open and the two or three houses down below it are safe. Somebody failed to do their job. I requested the building plans for the store on Wednesday. However, when I followed up with Barbersville Village officials Thursday, I was told the plans had been picked up by Target representatives and that they would be copying them and then returning the originals Friday. Target officials have declined to comment further on the situations, but we've been told their engineers are the ones assessing the property now. So for now, there are still some unanswered questions, but I will keep asking them. In Barbersville, Lane Ball, 13 News.